hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of k if we have k plus k divided by k multiplied by k is equals to 6 and we solve this problem for all the values of k so first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root further we solve this problem for two methods I hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now here in the first method uh, you see that these are the two variable terms are added by each other so when you add two variable terms uh, so we add the coefficients of these terms so the coefficients of both of these two terms are one so it will becomes 2k divided by here we multiply k with k becomes k squared and this is equals to 6 and now in the next step we need to move this k square to the right hand side it is divided by here when we move it into the right hand side it is multiplied by 6 and we get 2k is equals to 6 times of k square and now we move this 2k to the right hand side it is positive 2k when we move it into the right hand side it will becomes negative 2k and we get 6k square minus 2k and this whole equation is equal to 0 and now here further in the next step uh, we need to take common 2k from here so when you take common 2k we get this here we get 3k minus 1 and this whole equation is equal to 0 and now we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write 2k is equal to 0 and the second case is we write 3k minus 1 is equal to 0 so from here in order to find the value of k we divide both of the sides by 2 and you get this 2 is cancelled out by these 2 and we obtain here k is equals to 0 over 2 becomes 0 so this is the value of k and further in the next step uh, we need to move this minus 1 to the right hand side and it will become 3k is equals to 1 and again for the values of k we divide both of the sides by 3 so when we divide by 3 it will become 3k divided by 3 equals to 1 divided by 3 so this value is cancelled out by this value and we get here k is equals to 1 divided by 3 so this is the uh, second root of the given equation which we get here so the, uh, the in the first method we get here there are two roots of the given equation one is 0 and other is 1 over 3 and now here we need to verify that is these roots are solution or is these roots are extraneous roots so for this we need to copy down given question statement here and it is k plus k divided by k multiplied by k is equals to 6 and here in this side we will be verify k is equals to 0 and in this side we will be verify k is equals to 1 over 3 so when we substitute k is equals to 0 into the left hand side it will be written as uh, 0 plus 0 divided by 0 multiplied by 0 is equals to 6 and we know that 0 plus 0 becomes 0 0 multiplied by 0 is also becomes 0 and it is equals to 6 and we know about that uh, 0 over 0 is usually called that it is the indeterminate form okay so if this is the indeterminate form or uh, in other words we say that it is undefined form if this is undefined form it means that uh, both of the sides are not equal so if both of the sides are not equal this means that the value of k is equal to 0 is not satisfied our given question statement so we conclude about k is equal to 0 is that k is equal to 0 be the extraneous root of the given equation okay this is the extraneous root so here we move towards our second root of the given equation and now we substitute the second value of k is equal to 0 into the given question statement so when you put this value here it will becomes first we write k plus k becomes 2k k multiply k becomes k squared equals to 6 and now we substitute the value of k is equals to 1 over 3 here okay so when you put it here it will becomes 2 multiplied by 1 over 3 divided by 1 over 3 whole square is equals to 6 so we get 2 times 1 over 3 becomes here 2 over 3 
and 1 over 3 square becomes 1 over 9 is equals to 6. So here uh, we need to uh, just uh, reciprocal the denominator term and it will become 2 over 3 multiplied by 9 over 1 is equals to 6. And it will be written as this is 3 times 3 becomes here 9 and we get here 2 multiplied by 3 becomes 6 is equals to 6. So this shows that the second value of k is satisfied over given question statement. So the solution set in uh, first method is that k is equals to 1 over 3 be the only one solution of the given equation. And now here we again solve this problem for second method. Uh, so for second method we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is k plus k divided by k multiplied by k is equals to 6. And in the second method I can give you an other uh, techniques how to find the values of k in a very uh, fast at or easiest way. So here mm, you see into the left hand side we have k plus k becomes 2 times of k and k multiplied by k becomes k square and this is equals to 6. And here you see that this k is cancelled out by this k and we get 2 divided by k is equals to 6. And here we need to uh, replace k with 6 so it means that we move k to the right hand side and we move 6 to the left hand side so when we move these two values here it will becomes 2 divided by 6 is equals to k and here we get this is 2 times of 3 becomes 6 so here we easily get the value of k is equals to 1 over 3. So uh, in the second method we will get here on, only one value of k that is k is equals to 1 over 3 and in the first method we already verified that this value of k is satisfied our given question statement. So uh, the final conclusion about the solution set of the given question is that k is equals to 1 over 3 be the solution set of the given question and this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.